In this video, what we're gonna show you is a new product that Enhanced Mobility just released called the Moho Auto Folding Scooter. Um, in this video demonstration, we're gonna show you the unboxing, and then later on, you're gonna see a video demonstration about the actual unit. So, this is what the unit would look like. They do ship FedEx, UPS, um, fully assembled in this box. Um, you do have this hard uh, straps that go around it, so you're gonna need a box cutter or a knife. Um, but we'll go through. I've never done one of these before. It just came out, so we are gonna learn at the same time. So, go ahead. Cut the box open and we'll see what it looks like. So when you open the box, it's gonna have plenty of protective material on it. You will have your owner's manual that's sitting right up top. So we'll set that down and then let's see. It does look like it comes with a bag. Um, and inside this bag is probably your charger and other equipment. Inside your bag, you've got your front folding basket here and your charger. Let's see what else it comes with. And this looks like your arms for the unit. So all of this is gonna come in this nice carry bag that they give you. Um, so I'll set this off to the side and then we'll Put that on in a minute. Most of these units, they ship a little plastic covering over it, but they are pretty much fully assembled. So with this unit, you can I believe that's about 60 pounds. So if that's going to be too heavy for you to lift up and out. Um, if you want to lay it slightly on its side and pull it out, you can, or if you want to cut down the side of the box, um, then you'll be able to get it out. It just sits in a foam uh, holder down at the bottom. So, take our plastic off. And we're going to look for our keys. So, inside your bag too, up top, if you, um, in, in the bag there's a zipper. And in that zipper, it does have your keys. And it looks like it has an Allen set. Um, these are your automatic key fobs. And then it looks like some screws, probably for the armrests. So everything else is going to be in that little zipper part of the bag. So we'll go ahead first with the keys and we will turn it on. Before you're going to turn it on, I will show you where your batteries are at. So your batteries on this unit are actually sit one on either side. So there's two batteries in here. So they actually have these batteries in backwards on purpose so it doesn't drop all the way down. They do want you to unwrap the shrink wrap that's on the upper side of the battery. And then what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna take this and you will see how you have a almost like a spring-loaded lip on one side. That is gonna to go towards the steering wheel or towards the handlebar. So you're gonna drop it in. And if you let it drop like I just did, it clicks in. If you try to put it in slow, you do have to physically click it in at the last second. Um, and then you'll know it's secure. So now from here, we're gonna turn the key on and you are going to have your display. This actually looks like up here you are going to have an open and a close button on the handlebars. So let's go ahead and hit open. So this button actually looks like, unlike other buttons, this stops when you let go of this button. A lot of other units you press it and it unfolds. This one looks like you would hold down the open button until it's in the fully open position. So it does come with a front basket. We will take our basket and we will figure out how this mounts. So in order to mount the basket, I believe you have to raise the tiller up. There's a red tab right here. Raise the tiller up and then your front basket will slide on. From here, you do have your armrests, which we will take off the shrink wrap. And they will drop in here. Now that there are tools, or there are some tools and some screws that they provided. 
So we will put these in and then we will be right back. With your armrests, you're gonna get them. They're gonna be folded up like this. You're gonna see that there's no way that armrest would stay level. So if you actually open up your armrest, you'll see a threaded hole in here. Inside your bag, you're gonna have two large thumb screws and then you're also gonna have smaller ones with an Allen key on it. So what you're actually gonna do is you are gonna screw that screw in in here. Sometimes you can twist it in by hand. Otherwise, they do provide you the Allen key that you can use inside this bag to tighten that in. So you are gonna wanna screw it in because the concept of how it's gonna work is depending on how far that's screwed in, your arm is gonna be angled downwards. So if you don't screw it in very far, your arm's gonna be angled up pretty high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Allen key and we are gonna screw that down quite a bit more. Oops. And then we are gonna repeat that process for the other side also. So I'll show you on this side because it's easier to see on a camera. You would take this arm and you would drop it in on this side. And there are two hole, different, two hole placements. Depending on the height you want, you select the hole that you're looking for and then you would screw this. In. All right, so just to recap, um, you're gonna put your arms on, you're gonna screw these thumb screws in. Um, there's two different hole placements over here. You do have an Allen key right here that you can adjust the farther in this goes the downwards angle of the pitch, the higher up that you screw that screw in, it's gonna stop your arm higher. So really that's a desired, however you feel comfortable with. Um, and then like I said, you do have a key fob with these units as well. Um, but this is the unit, this is in their blue color. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.